guys, it's me, it's Ken, and I am streaming. Okay. Uh, this time I'm doing... Um, I'm, well, I'm just streaming for the sake of it. About half hour, maybe. First of all, i got to... Make sure that my volume's off. Yeah, there we go. Um, and we're just going to put that back on there. Uh, because... Yeah, that's all right. I'm not looking at anything else. Ah, it gets so confusing. Anyway, yeah, I decided to just do... Uh, maybe a half hour hour what have you just for my channel and uh, just so that I keep maybe a little bit relevant uh, not had a bad day today I suppose not been brilliant but it's not been a bad day for a Saturday um, what have we done today well I got up I gave my daughter some money for my grandson's birthday, which is in two days. It's my daughter's birthday t tomorrow. Uh, yeah, it's my daughter's birthday tomorrow. Uh, so, I hope she has a nice day. Uh, she was born in 94, so she's 27 tomorrow. Yeah. And, oh, health bells. Everybody's going to bed. Everybody's going to bed. Bird. Everybody's in a bird. Right, my microphone. No, oh, wait a minute. My microphone. Why isn't that so loud? I don't get why it's so loud. Maybe perhaps I need a new microphone. Ugh. That's all plugged in. 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 Yeah, well, for some reason it's not going where it used to be. Um, I don't know what the hell's going on with this thing. Well, it's not switched off, is it? No. Now, there we go. Well, uh, yeah, so I didn't even know what to say now. Um,. Yes, yeah, my grandson's birthday will be 11 in two days. can't believe it's gone that quick. Um, still focusing on this thing. This darn blanket. This darn blanket. Uh, I've got a new... Um, pattern I want to try when I finish this blanket. It's going to take me ages and ages and ages. If I don't get some of it done, it will never get done. So, yeah. Ta da uh, Right, okay. Well, basically, I'm on a... It's just basically a front post double crochet row, to be honest with you. And the only place that I am patterning is on the four big bits. So it's the two here, uh, which gets... Uh, crocheted and then when I do the go back it's just basically from um, double crochet in the back post only and the normal double crochets and then on the next row we'll be 
crossing over the middle section so it will be like this so there will be straight double double crochets in the front post these will be the crossovers and then that's just a double crochet and then that will be a crossover as well so we are getting there slowly slowly um but yeah and i found another ball of this brown wool so that's handy dandy so i'll get that done so i'm debating whether or not to put the blue at the bottom or maybe put the blue in the middle i don't know yet i ain't decided yet because i've got a nice navy uh this color So I've got this nice navy colour to put on it one side up to the I don't think I've got any more of this one, but it's uh yeah, it's an option. And then put white on it. This is another um another crochet. This is for my son's jumper, but Oh, good gracious me. I haven't actually got round to finish this one off. This has got like a... I think I've just done too many fours. So this has got to be... I think that's why I didn't do this. But this has got like... Um, it stops there, stops there. So it's literally groups of four. So, I don't know, I don't know. Well, I need the wool, because this is part and parcel of this wool, but... Yeah, and what I've done here, uh, for the ribbon, is, I do believe... Yeah, these are all single crochets. And I do it, did it like this, and then I did it as long as I needed it, because then obviously you did do two sides to this. So it's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, forty. Here we are, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven. 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 8, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46. So there's about 46, 46 rows. And then what I did was in each row, I put a single crochet along the side. And that's how I managed to make the amount of stitches I need for the pattern here. So that's like four, 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 four. So it's all in the groups of four. So that's why we've got the bigger um, gut ring, as you call this this bit here. I call it gut ring, but I like the horseshoe shape. I do like the horseshoe shape. But I think this would probably have been too thick. I know Aaron, I mean, it's a winter jump. Oh, it would have been a winter jumper. Uh, winter coat, sorry. God, blind me, I can't get the words out. It would have been a winter coat. A uh, cardigan. But, oh, oh excuse me, what? I can't see my son actually wearing it, to be honest with you. And sometimes I think, uh What's the point? Um, but I know he does like blankets. He likes heavy blankets. So, yeah. Right, and okay, so what I'm doing here, because I'm doing a crossover, oh, I think I've told you this before, but this is a treble crochet. So, Everywhere else is a double crochet, except where you do crossovers. Uh, I'm, I'm going to have to get a new microphone so I think it's that. Uh, yeah, so that's a way crossover. Everywhere else is a double. 
double front post or a double in the normal. Uh, Coming, Jacks, frighten the life out of me, goodness sake. Um, and wave, I have to cross over. You do a treble. So I do trebles on here because I have to come back over this way to make sure that the stitch it's, it crosses over. Uh, do a treble crochet in that one. Uh, just do treble crochet in all of them because it's got to go for. So that's wind over twice, as you can see, with the hook. So you've got three like ho hoops on the hook. And then you go front post. So you go under the post. So you've got this post here. So you go under the post. Pick it up. So now you've got four, ho uh, four loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two. And yarn over, pull through two more, and then yarn over and pull through two more, and that's your treble crochet. So now I've got to get across to skip the next three stitches. So it's these three stitches here we skip, and then we're into these three stitches. So we want to yarn over twice, if you can see that. And then we skip the first three into the fourth, and we do... Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Then we yarn over the hook twice, under the next stitch, not in it, but under it, behind it. Pull up a loop, yarn over, pull up a loop through two, pull, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And we do that again. Uh, and it's as easy as a windy free. And now we got to go to this one. So we go back to the first three of the second set of three, so or six. So those ones, and we just do it again. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Scratch your eyebrow, yarn over twice, <laughs> pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. Always remember before you pull through two, you have to yarn over your needle. You can't just pull through two, then pull through two, then pull through two. But you know, you get the idea. The whole point of crocheting is to yarn over. So to do a double, we're going inside the stitch this time. So we've got the stitch on the top. So we just yarn over the once and go in, not through. Or should I say through, not around. And then just pull over. And we just do an, a normal double crochet, but with the front post. A normal double crochet front post. Normal double crochet in the stitch. And uh, now we do four normal double crochet round the post. One. Two. Three and four. I like so. So as you can see, this is going around like this, and then it goes under here. So it's going under. And it comes up here, and then this one is going under and comes up and goes over this one. So on the next go round, on the next row, that's where we cross these over again. So it's basically we do a crossover every fourth row on those ones. Because the second row is just a double crochet row. But that's in the back loops only. 
So we're just doing a double crochet front post and then a double crochet normal. Now we're back to where are we? We are back to the four. The should I say three, six, nine, twelve. We're back to the twelve stitches, our pattern stitch. Now on this row we are going to skip the first three stitches, one, two, three, and we're going to crochet treble crochet so that's yarn over twice, go through the first or should I say the fourth stitch. You should be able to by now see where they are because this one's going this way and this one's going up. So we want the fourth one. We just yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. Yarn over twice underneath, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. Yarn over twice, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. I've really got to get that jumper finished as well. That's something else I've got to do. Yarn over twice and now we go back to the very first stitch that we missed. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over twice, into the second missed stitch, two, two and two, yarn over twice and into the third missed stitch, and then we just pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. I have been playing... As you can see, hang on a minute, I'll tell you in a minute what I've been playing. As you can see, that's now crossed these over, so we've got this going over now and it will go like this. So when we come to the next row, this one and this one will get crossed over. So then that gives us the illusion it's... Um, let's have a look. It gives the illusion it's just carrying on going around like this. Hang on a minute, we're now. Uh, I think somebody's just done some. No, I'd be so lucky. Anyway, so yeah, that's that. And now I've got to do this one. So it's yarn over twice, and we then we skip the next three stitches. These three. I still got to get a new. Rob's put me up a a new um, lamp tomorrow, so hopefully it will be a lot brighter for you to see. He's got some weird ideas. I hang on a minute. And then we pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. And yarn over twice. So you got the one, two, you got three on the hook. Then underneath. Hi, Luna! You're right, dear. Uh, and then yarn over twice. And then we just go back over the last missed stitches. I don't know if you can hear me very well because my mic seems to be playing up. The last few videos that I've done, the mic's absolutely crap. So. I've been playing the new Tomb Raider. Oh my god. Well, it's not new. It's about two years old, but... Oh, what's happened the last couple of days, love? Hmm? You've been poorly. Oh, thank you. Have you been poorly? Right, I've got a... So this is where I'm getting a bit 
myself be I got into a car accident on Thursday after work. Oh no! What are you going to do that for? Puddin? You're right. Oh dear, was it a bad accident, love? Oh, Oop. Was it a bad accident? <sighs> Wasn't your fault you were waiting to find out the car is fixable or not? Oh no! What happened? Hang on, I've got to sit my ass up. <sighs> Get numb bum. I haven't got the table out today. So this is a row of double crochets, but they're in the in the stitches and in the back loops. No, not back loops, back posts. Are you? It, it, was anybody else in the car with you? He was turning left and he was supposed to wait for me because the speed limit is 50 miles, 55 miles per hour, about 100, I don't know what that is. What? That a normal road? 55 miles an hour? That, that type of road, that, that's what we call an A road which doesn't have any housing on it you know uh, if we're in a built up area we can only go 30 but i keep yelling at rob because he goes down the ruddy if it's if it's if it's a main road i say i don't mind if he does 30 down it because like you know that's a main road yeah what goes what the main traffic goes but when you're on an estate like what we're on or a house a housing road where there's children that can run out into the road i hate seeing cars doing like 30 i really hate it because kids just run out of the road so i prefer that if it, it, it the limit is 30 down down a, a road with houses on it but um, I don't I like I don't like him going that fast, and I don't drive that fast myself. I only do something like between fifteen and twenty, if that, when I'm going through the housing estate. But when I get onto my main road, I do thirty. But fifty, fifty-five. All right. So okay, yeah. Uh, so fifty-five. That would be like our 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 A roads, which are um, non-residential, but you do have coming off sometimes, like down where we live. There's a, a road called Beer Churchill Road, and you have housing estates coming off, but um, they go onto the the main road or the A road. Um, but we usually have little roundabouts there, so you know to slow down anyway. Um, and you can go up to, if you've got maximum of 60 miles an hour down there, um, or depending on what the road actually says, uh, it will usually have a maximum limit of like 40 to 60, depending on whereabouts on the road you are. If you're coming up to a housing estate, it usually drops down to 40 
Um, but other than that, yeah, like a highway kind kind of our M roads are like your I roads. So yeah, so I don't know about KPH. I don't don't work with that. I work we work with MPH. So I I know roughly what you're talking about there. But uh, you were he was turning left, so he was going left because you're on the wrong side of the road, didn't you? So if if we turn because we have to give way to the right, so anybody that's coming from the right, we have to stop and that they get right of way. So I would imagine it would be the other way round for you. Is that right? Because you go kind of backwards, I think. Anyway, regardless. Yeah, yeah. So, you, because you're on the wrong side of the road, when you turn right, you you turn right like that, but when you turn left, you go across the carriageway, don't you? Like we do when we turn right, we got to go across the carriageway because when we turn left, it's literally going around the corner, but with the, we don't have to cross the carriageway. Yeah. I could never drive over. Yeah, yeah. And so you was going... So you was crossing the carriageway and he ran into you because he wasn't looking? Is that what you're saying? Or he was just just didn't stop. Was it traffic lights or something? But everybody's okay though, yeah. You've been to the hospital and everything. Been checked out or what have you. As a video. He said he saw me and thought he had more time to turn before I got there. Everyone is fine and no, I haven't been to the doctor's too expensive and he didn't have a... Oh, so your car's a right off or it's probably completely fucked. All right, yeah, but surely... Who 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 was going round the corner? Was he going round the corner, and you was coming? Uh, so so was he going round the corner, and you was coming? But he, you had the right of way, whereas he should have stopped at the traffic lights, because your traffic lights are all confusing as well. Because you can go on red, where we don't go on red. We have to wait for the green, no matter what one. Uh, that's one of the reasons why I could never drive over in America because I'll draw you a pic and what? Well, okay, you draw me a pic. It's probably easier to explain it like that to me. <laughs> um, but you, you're all right. Is uh, you are all right though, aren't you? Did you get the police involved? Because uh, I don't know whether over, over there you have to get the highway police out or something when there's an accident. But over here, if there's an accident, we have to call the police. Um, if it's a, a big a big crash, you know. Um, and exchange documents and what have you. I mean, I'd imagine if your cars are right off, that was quite a crash then, wasn't it?
just draw me a picture. Of course, quarter past two. Huh. Oh, did I? I didn't miss anything, did I? Nope, nope. So that's there. Single two, single four. Normal double crochet. And then two uh, back post double crochets. Oops. Now a single double crochet. And now we're back to double crochets, uh, the pattern. So the first stitch that's crossed, or the last stitch that's crossed, second to last stitch. And now, now the third. And now these stitches, well, yes, I'm totally fine. It jousted me a lot, so I'm sore. He smashed his front end. Oh, so you're driving a tank and he's driving a tin can. Well, he should have looked more closely where he was bloody going, the idiot. That's all I can say. Cause accidents if you don't watch what you're doing. My mum always said, you know, it, it, it's, it won't be you that causes the accident. It'd be some idiot on the road. Yeah. <laughs> wow. What do you expect? It's the black. They always think they own the road anyway. But you know. I will get round to doing that video, I promise, but I just haven't been in the mood for it at the minute. If you want to get somebody else to do it as well, then, you know, feel free, but I will get round to doing it. I've been a, a wee bit busy on uh, Tomb Raider. Trying to, and I, I get bored so easily at the minute. I haven't even played WoW for a while. I mean, I'm forcing myself to do this um, just so that uh, I've got something to do, but I don't don't really want to do it. And actually, there's nothing I actually want to do. Do you know what? I I'm having one of those. I'm having one of those. I don't know what you call it. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what to call it. Oh, no problem. I'm not done with the videos anyway. Plus, EQ2 has been acting wonky when you try to log in. Yeah, I read something about that. I think Kiara keeps putting something up about it on Facebook. Not that I pay much attention to Facebook much nowadays either. I don't... You know, I, I, I look on my, my social media... First thing in the morning, in bed, on my phone. And all I do is I open it up. If there's no, uh, if nobody's interacted, 
uh, uh, with anything that I put up. You know, when you have a look at your your wall, it comes up with if anybody's liked some or something that's come up. There's nothing there. I just uh, I come off of it. Uh, same with Instagram. If there's no no reactions or anything like that, I think oh well. Um, and that that's literally me with my social media. Uh, so I don't actually look at social media too much anymore. I come downstairs, I turn on the computer, uh, do the dishes, turn on the computer, check YouTube now to see if anybody's commented or, you know, viewed or what have you. Nobody does, so I sit and I watch uh, whatever is on my view page. Uh looking for something to to watch and then literally that's it that is it and then i sit and play on a game or i sit and try and do something or think or something or watch a watch a program on the monitor there i've got a monitor over there i showed you that the other day but yeah, waiting for phone calls for his nibs for work. And all we seem to be getting at the moment is spam, spam calls. So I just block them. Um, I started doing the colouring. I got a colouring, but ooh. I got a joystick. Look, I got an one of these. I bought I bought a pink one. Look. Oh, I got myself a joystick. So I've been playing on the on my PC with a joystick. And I've also started colouring in. <laughs> so. I'm doing a like colouring in. I thought maybe one day I'll do a stream with just me colouring in. I don't know. Something to do, isn't it? I don't always want to do uh this. This is so dark you can't see it very well, so <coughs> I think perhaps that's why people don't watch the stuff that I do. I don't know. And I, I don't can't be bothered to play play my games very much at the minute. So is this the jumper or the blanket? This is the blanket. This is uh Kean's blanket that I'm making. The cable blanket. Uh it is literally I think about two foot long at the moment. I'm, a, I'm, I'm sure it's about two foot long. It's quite big. It goes from my knees to my boobs. Mind you, my boobs kind of come down to my knees anyway. But <laughs> now the jumper's white. I've got to finish that one off as well. But this is uh, this is. Uh, I don't actually know how long it is at the minute. Hang on. Let's have a look. Jax! Right, let's have a look. Do do do. I see a red moon rising. Uh, I think that's just 50. Uh, is that 50? Is that 50 centimetres? No, can't be 50 centimetres. Yeah, 50 centimetres. What's 50 centimetres? It's nearly 20 inches. And I've got to do... Hang on. 20 inches is... 
How many feet is 20 inches? 12 inches to a foot. So it's nearly two, two, in, uh, two feet long. So yeah, I've got that much more to go and then I've got two foot. So then I've got to do that. I've got to have this size three times. Um, but I've just found another ball of wool that's the same colour as this. Uh, I've got one more ball of wool the same colour as this. And then I'm going to do the navy. And then when I've run out of the navy, I'm going to do uh, a cream. So it's going to kind of be a triple colour. Triple colour. Uh, triple colour. So that should then take it to about six foot. Which is, if he's lying on the sofa or on his bed, he'll be out of them. He's only five foot, five foot ten, I think. Kian. I know he's got to bend down to cuddle me. That's <laughs> He's got to bend down to cuddle me, so I'm five foot two. So... It's going to be bigger than me, let's put it that way. So if he puts his feet on it, um, it will, it should keep his feet warm and he'll be able to bring up to basically his neck if he's sitting on the sofa. Uh, or, you know, and it's quite heavy as well because it's an Aaron wool. So, but yeah, um, because I did, I should really. I bought, I think it was four balls of this wool, but I think I've used up one ball. I was just wool doing something else. Um, I should really buy more balls of wool because I'm, I'm always making things. That I, or when I make things, I always end up making things I've heard. <laughs> There's not enough, and then I have to struggle to find a matching colour oh what have I done hang on oh no come on please don't tell me I've done this wrong oh fuck it right okay look I've now got to undo all of this all the way back to here because what I've done is I've done these three stitches, yeah, and three underneath. I've done those and I've done those. But I did these three stitches and I forgot to do those three stitches. So now I've got to undo it all the way back to here, which is two, it is nearly two, well, it's, it will be a row because I've got to go vroom and then back this way. Uh, oh, hey. Uh, what a donkey. So that I can finish it off. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I get, uh, yeah. I'm an idiot. Oh, well, it won't take me long. And that just shows you, uh, you know, even when I concentrate, I don't concentrate. But I'll be on the I'll be on the pattern uh, pattern row. See, we, see, we did a pattern row again. <laughs> oh, it is quarter past two in the morning. What do you expect? Right, back down this row. Ugh. 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 Yarn bath. Ugh. You can blame the guy who hit me. Yeah, I blame the guy who hit you as well because he's just fucked up my. <laughs> My crochet asshole. <laughs> How dare he? He screwed up your car and now he's screwed up my yarn, my knitting, uh, crocheting. Right, where have I got to get to? Uh, How dare he? How very dare he? Where did I get to? Oh, here. Shell. I've got to go to this stitch there so I'll put that there 
men drivers. <laughs> It's their fault. Everything's their fault. Unless it's not their fault. And then it's whoever else's fault. But yeah. Uh, where did I go the other day? I went somewhere. Oh, we went to the. We went up to see Danny the other day with the kids. Uh, on Monday, I think it was. Because uh, they've relaxed the lockdown. Still, we are still locked down, but it's uh, relaxed, so we can now go visit. But we're not allowed. But uh, we have to be outside. And only six dog company. Right. Okay. So we're back here. I've got to do these three stitches. So it's yarn over twice. Go through. So yeah, we went to see Danny the other day uh, and the kids. Uh, and Ruby was a right little cow bag. Seriously, could have clipped her around the ear roll. She was so disrespectful, that child. And she's so disrespectful to her mother, but the oh my god. Ugh. <laughs> Paige wasn't feeling too great, so she kind of got a little bit red. I don't know whether maybe she got um, a bit of heat stroke, because it was quite warm, actually. Right, let me just double check I've done this. Uh, but, yeah, no, Ruby was all right, madam. Could have, oof. Oof, if that was one of mine. I tell you. If that was one of mine, I'd have clipped around the ear roll. She was so rude. I think, in quite honestly, I think she's going to be a little narcissist when she gets older. The way she is behaving. I she was sat about a foot away from me, and I tapped her on the knee with the tip of my tip of my boot to say, "Oi, pack it in." Not like you know, I did that. Not whack yeah but i did that on her knee with my thing to say oi pack it in don't touch your mother like that and she said don't hit me i was like uh yeah well there was a few choice words i was saying under my breath let's put it that way so i ignored her she hates being ignored i said to danny i said ignore her I said she's a disrespectful little git. Because then Danny said to me, she goes, uh, not to me, she says Ruth to Ruby, she says, don't touch your nan like that. She says, that's my mother. And, uh, well, well, you know, anyway. Um, so, yeah, so, do started sulking. As if, like, uh, she was a victim of something really bad. And I looked at Danny, I said, you want to watch her? I said, because she'll end up being one of these narcissistic women when she gets older. I think she can get away with anything. And then when she doesn't get away with it, she will start playing the victim. Because that's exactly what she was. She got told off for her behaviour. She didn't like it. So she started sulking as if like, oh well, I know what I'm trying to say. I can't think of the word at the minute because the words I'm trying to find are choice words that aren't too unkind. Kids, kids, oh, I could swing for that one, I swear I could. But uh, Tommy was playing, he, he uh, um, Tommy was on the deaf slide and um, playing and um, little Paige was running around kicking the football. She's ever so good at kicking the football. Um, and Do was being annoying. But then I I will give them cre uh, credit where credit's due. When Paige, she stood up by the deaf slide. It was not a deaf slide. It's like 
you know, little disky thing on a rope and it zip across and then you get off and then you zip back sort of thing. And but she was waiting for a go because you, I've never seen so many people in a park. Seriously, I've never seen so many people in a park. And it was really nice to see everybody in the park. All social distancing, but everybody in the park. And um, Paige was waiting to go on the zip line, but she couldn't get on it. So Ruby and Tommy both went up to her. One held the zip line stick thing with the disc on it. Well, um, uh, Ruby being the eldest, she was helping Paige get onto it. And it was so sweet to see. She she can be a nice little girl when she wants to be. And they're very protective of each other, the kids. You know, like uh, towards other, uh, other people sort of thing. But they're little buggers. They are right little buggers. Me and Danny were talking about it the other day about um how how they are outside the house that than they are in the house and it was just like how mine were everybody used to compliment my kids or come up to me and say oh what wonderful children i got and how respectful and blah 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 and i, I i'd look at them and think you know somebody's abducted my kids and given me back aliens or something because they were totally different to me they were little baskets mine were complete and that little toe rags um when they were younger but like i said to danny i said it that was towards me and their dad I said, but as long as you conducted yourself all right outside the house and people were, you know, singing your praises, I was doing my job right. Do you know what I mean? I was doing my job right. Uh, so I'm proud of my kids for that. And um, that they're, they're like that as well. They're little baskets inside the house, but outside the house... Around other people's houses, they're as good as gold. Well, apart from two. But, you know. So, yeah. Always know when you do your job right, when people come up and tell you your kids are lovely. Are you sure you're talking about my children? I still get it now, though. I still get people say to me, you know, oh, I met your son the other day. Wasn't he nice? Uh, it's like Merv, uh, a friend of Rob's, uh, who Troy works with. He's always praising Troy for being such an honest person. He's he's an honest, hard-working person. Uh, you know, and he's always got good manners and he always hands in the the uh cash and everything that he has to when when he does a job and stuff like that he never he would never um disrespect him like that and he's always saying to like rob you know your boys are really can't fault him for certain things you know he's always well mannered and this that and the next thing so that's really good and I get that off of uh, people about Kian and I get that off of people about the others as well so you know I'm proud of my kids for that there's actual psychology behind that. Children tend to act out more at home because they feel... Yeah, yeah. No, I know. I know. I've, all, I've, I've always believed that as well because they're able to be who they are at home. But it doesn't help you out as a parent. It really doesn't help you out as a parent because they drove me insane. I could have... Uh, well, you know, anyway... But um, I'm just really proud of the fact that they are, have manners outside the house and they know how to be respectful to adults and 
and what have you. It's around their friends, they're always, you know, they say naughty words and stuff like that. I mean, Ruby and all that stuff, they do it as well. They don't think people know it, but that, that does get back to them. But that's a peer thing. But in somebody else's house, they are... Um, they are polite and helpful and well mannered and and that that to me is more important than you know uh, um that's more important how they post you know thingy themselves across because then that shows that when children are like that it shows that they were brought up not dragged up it's when they are the opposite way round. Not well, not the opposite way round, but if they were to be like they are at home, outside the home, people would say you dragged them up, or they got dragged up, you know. Um, when they don't, um, I mean Ruby, you you could quite easily say Ruby was dragged up because of the way she is towards uh me and her granddad and. Uh, her mum and her dad and people that know her know her but it's the people that don't know her and if she behaves around them like that that's where you get the trouble starts but hang on I just got to make sure yeah I've got that right right so that's done that one's crossed over that one's Crossed over. Yeah. All oh, right. Okay. So. Uh, but yeah. No. So I went to see them Monday. Um. What else have we do? What else have I done this week? Because it's Saturday today, isn't it? Oh, I slept. <laughs> There's a surprise. I've played Tomb Raider, done a couple of streams, just to try and keep, uh, um, keep it going, um, on a couple of games. I've literally frightened myself poopless on a, a Tomb Raider game because I'm playing two different types of Tomb Raider games I'm streaming ouch hang on a minute Ooh. I'm streaming one Tomb Raider game um, um, and play uh, and playing another one and the one that I'm playing at the moment uh, called Shadow of the Tomb Raider oh my god oh my god I scared myself. Hitless. It's scary as frightened the life out of me. It really did. There was a bit in it. I had to get somewhere, and I had to go through like a, a dungeon sort of thing, or or a mountain, and it had like cannibals in there. And, oh my god, I was crap in my pants because I could hear these cannibals I could hear this noise like monstrous noises running backwards and forwards and in the shadows and everything and I'm out there with my bow and arrow <laughs> I'm literally like this uh, and I've got my finger on the trigger and I've literally got fingers on the triggers and I've got my bow and arrow pulled back, waiting to pull the other trigger to let the arrows fly. And I have to get through this. I have to get through this as well as uh, not die. So I have to find stuff as well and, and, and get through this area and uh, complete this um, puzzle thing. And I, I'm and I'm literally I can't concentrate on this puzzle thing. I can't concentrate on shooting this at the next thing when I can see these creatures running up the walls and 
and I'm thinking to myself, they're going to fucking jump on me. And I'm literally like this. Oh, God, it's so funny. But it, it really scared the poop out of me. And then um, I have to... When when you get past that bit, you get into a sort of VT thing. And then all of a sudden, it's like you then have to run. Uh, so the VT, it, it gives you a bit of VT. And then you literally have to, then you start playing again. And you have to run. And you have to try and work out which way you're going. I mean, I don't know how many times I've annoyed. But I did die a lot of times. But I had to work out. And then you have to jump and grab and pull yourself up and carry on running and jump and grab and pull yourself up and you've got to duck in and out and you've got to do all this oh my god I was literally my heart was going like the clappers and um and and I've got this remote control here and I'm up here like this and I'm going like that and I'm stretching my arms out and I'm going like this <laughs> it's oh my god it's quite funny actually it was quite funny. But when I got out of there, I was like, oh, my God. I hated that bit. I really hated it. And then I had to swim under the water and through a tunnel and get to and, and get quite further. But because I was still in panic mode, I couldn't figure out my swim buttons. So I haven't been able to catch Tomb Raider live yet. No, probably not. The first Tomb Raider stream was buffering too much for me for some reason. And then the one the other day you were streaming around the time I got on into my accident. So I was... Oh, but it's, it's all right. I'm, I just... I just... I stream it whenever. But um, what's happened is the one that I'm streaming... Because this was... The, this other one I was just describing isn't the one I'm streaming... The other, this one I'm just just describing is the newer version, and it it's the newer one, and it's really really good. Um, I didn't realise it was going to be that scary. Um, but the one that I'm streaming, what's happened is, I started streaming that. Then I wanted to see what happened after I finished streaming, so I carried on playing. But I then decided what I'd do is I would start a new game of that same game and then get to the bit where I was and then carry on to see what happens next. So I'm nearly caught up with my second game. So I've got two of the same episode. I got stuck on the Baba Yaga. Um, I could not, for the love of the money... Uh, kill this bad guy. It was like a, a, a you. We we just saw it when I streamed the last stream, um, where I'm in the Soviet installation or something like that. I think it is, and I've got the Baba Yaga uh storyline thing come up with the download content. And I thought, I'm not going to go into that one again. Because I can do all of it up until I get to the bit where the, you've got to kill the boss. And I can't do it. My fingers just will not do it. I think, well, I have to wait and see if I can get myself another, um, another weapon, a faster weapon. Because I just can't, I can't, I can't, uh, the rope arrow to get it. And because I got a rope arrow, the bucket that the bad guy's in, that's chucking things at me. Stick it in the wadjuma call it. Twist the wadjuma call it round so it brings the bucket close. Then release the the like the gas or something before that cuts itself free. And then I got to jump across to another one and do it again. And then I got to go up onto the next level and do it all again. And then then and I can get to sort of like I've managed to do the first ones on the ground level, and I've managed to do the second one on the second level. But when it comes to the third level, I can't do it because rather than having everything right near you, I have uh, the the lever that I got to pull to to blow kind of blow up the thing 
is down so I have to attach it bring it forward before it actually cuts itself out and then I've got to jump down uh, wind it up and then I've got to jump down and pull the lever and I just I'm not quick enough to do it um, and I get frustrated and I was I was getting pissed off I was getting really pissed off of it so um, I had to restart the game and get myself to there so that I didn't have to do that bit again so that I could continue with the stream because I was stuck basically so then I thought, right, okay, well, I'll leave that one for streaming only. And then I can play it online. I'll play the other one and see what that's like. But that's more entertaining to watch me jump and poop my pants and facial expressions and what have you. So I thought, poop, I should be doing this one. <laughs> and I thought, well, I can't do too many of those video games. Um, on stream, especially the Tomb Raider. I do eventually want to do all the Tomb Raiders on stream at some point, but I need to finish one game before I finish another. And the thing is, it's on adventure mode, which is actually the easiest mode we've got, and I still can't do it. Because I am that stupid. Um, but I've also got Abe's Odyssey I'm doing, but I've also do I've been doing um you know I've been doing the um old version on stream. Well I'm also playing the updated version which I actually pref I, I like both versions but the, the newer version should I say the better graphics on it and I prefer that one. But I got quite far on that one. But then um, I'm like, I need to finish that one off as well. And then there's Star Wars. And then there's WoW. And then there's EverQuest. And I'm like, I just got too much choice and I just I'm bored with it all. So, yeah. I'm having one of those, uh, one of those moments. I think one of those. Well, I don't know what you call it. Whatever. But um, I'm glad you're all right anyway. I'm glad you're all right. So yeah. Right, okay, so now I've come to the end of this row, which is the one of them that I had to undo. Oh, I have to undo that one, did I? No. And now I've got to go all the way back, because so I've still got a load of yarn bath. Uh, to get to where I was. Yeah, it can be kind of hard when you have too many choices. It's called choice anxiety. Yeah, I've, I've been, I, well, it's not just choices that's giving me anxiety at the minute. I've gone through a bit myself about stuff. Um, yeah, I'm just, I don't know. I just, I, I'd i rather just stay in bed, I think. Stay in bed and dream. Because I have some really nice dreams, you know. Really nice dreams. Because <laughs> I don't get it over here, so I might as well dream about it. I'd rather be in dreamland. Uh, a few nice uh, choices. You know, choices. 
Actually, funnily enough, I see my mum quite a lot of my dreams uh, recently. Uh, not like the cry kinds of dreams either. Whereas I used to be, um, I used to whenever I see my mum, I'd, I'd be like cry -y. You know, I know, I know. I don't, don't think half. I don't think they're all. Um, what do you want to call it? Dream dreams, you know. But um, spirit dreams. But um, I do see my mum in a lot of them, and she's busy doing stuff, and it doesn't upset me to see her in them. It's like, you know, that's not me, uh, Vimian, but I can. I can be quite comfortable there and not have to worry, but then I, I like spending all my time in my dreams anyway, so yeah. Uh, and I also can tell if I'm in a dream as well now. Um, sometimes when I have my anxiety attacks, they are when I am trying to get through a door or... Uh, a window or it looks like I could get through something but the closer I get to it the smaller it becomes so I then realise I can't get through it so I'm not even going to try to get through it if that makes sense to me that's like a, a, a what's it dream you know where you go for a door onto the other side it's it's almost like saying there is something behind this you need to get to but it's not the right time for you to get there so it gets smaller um and then i realize i'm inside a dream especially like but if i if i get like the anxiety if i try to get through something and it, it gets smaller as I'm there. I realise that's when I'm having an anxiety attack or something's happening that shouldn't be happening and that's when I wake up with an anxiety attack and not able to breathe. Um, that's the frightening bits. It, that's almost like I've, I'm dying. That's how I look at it. I'm actually dying and then I get dropped back into where I am rather than carrying on going. You know, it's like, it's not your time yet, so we're going to just put you back there. Um, so, you know, that's when I think I wake up with the anxiety. Um, but if I didn't have to wake up with the anxiety, I'd, 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 either, I'd either be dead, <laughs> which wouldn't be too bad. Or uh, I realise it's a dream, what have you. So, yeah, it's a, it's a bit more fun in a dream. Have you ever had a sleep apnea test? Is that where you snore? I snore a lot. I don't snore when I'm awake, but uh, I do know... Oh, so that's another thing. Every time I, I doze off, so recently when I've dozed off, and I know I'm dozed off, but I'm still quite cognizant. I think that's the word. I can still hear everything outside, you know, like the birds and, uh, and what have you. But for a split second, I fell asleep and I start to snore. And that's when Rob jogs me. Uh, and then, but it's like, I don't know. Um, Imagine if I was playing uh, Abe's Odyssey, for instance, and I I have to run past the slig and then jump up onto the shelf. Every time I go to jump up on the shelf, Rob will wake me up or he'll nudge me and I'm back down on the floor. But then I can go straight back into my dream, if you will, and I can get back up onto the shelf. But every time I get back onto the shelf, I snore. So it wakes me up. And it continues like that. You know, it's it's quite annoying. I do get a bit arsy 
because he is terrible at snoring as well. Um, but hang on, I've got to figure this out. I've done something again. Uh, one, two. Oh, there's another one there. But no, if you're talking, I don't know. I think sleep apnea is to do with, and I know, and I, and I know why I snore. It's because I'm I put on weight. Because when I lose the weight, my snoring goes down. But I'm I'm doing everything I can to lose it. But it's a hormonal thing. I think I'm estrogen dominant. Uh, because of where it's all lying on me. I mean, if you look at my hand, you you couldn't... If you didn't know me, if you didn't know me, right, yeah, by looking at my face and looking at my hand, you wouldn't say that I was 226 pounds, would you? you, you th th these aren't the size of a 226 pound woman, would you? Yeah, um, and this mug, it ain't like that, yeah, um, but it's all on my hips and all on my belly and my bum and my thighs and that's uh, a, a, a big indication that it's a hormonal displacement, a horm hormonal um, um, estrogen dominant. So I've got to get a test done, which can cost me 80 quid, because bloody doctors won't give me one, for premenopausal, or whatever you call it. Um, and then apparently it's quite easy to remedy. I need some progesterone and maybe some testosterone or something to balance it out. Um, because And some T3. Uh Yeah, and hopefully uh, I will be able to fit me. But I've always it always seems like I've been estrogen dominant for my my entire life because that's where I only ever put the weight on. Yes, snoring is a part of it, but many people who have sleep apnea also stop breathing for a second when they are sleeping, and then your body goes into panic mode, hence the panic attack when you wake up. I have a few friends who have it like that and they have a sleep apnea machine and have said it's greatly helped in keeping the waking panic attack. Oh, right, yeah. No, um, I haven't gone that far uh, because I know, I know what it is. I, I do believe I know what it is. Um, I, it's, I just get too hot. Um... And when I sleep, I feel like my boobs, if I lie in a certain position, I feel like my boobs squash into my neck, you know. So I have to fall asleep with my hand basically not around my neck, but all, but like pulling my, pulling my boob away from my throat so that I don't feel like I'm being, I'm being strangled. I can't wear any necklaces anymore around my neck. Um, and I can't wear a pyjama top um, because uh, the feeling of restriction is what makes me panic, yeah? So at first I thought maybe perhaps I was swallowing my tongue because at the time when it first started about uh, nearly a year ago I was going through a bit of a crisis, if you remember, about stuff. Um, and the feeling of restriction, uh, was, is, is, and was something that I was going through and is still going through right now in my life. So I looked at it like that so much as that, um, and also with the, the want to go to see my mother was rather strong but then when I had my very first attack and it frightened the life out of me I didn't want to do that I didn't want to go and visit her just yet 
and it took me ages so then I had to go sleep downstairs on a sofa where it was a big wide room with space so I didn't feel sh constricted because with Rob in the bed and his heat and him putting his arms across me and holding me down basically while I was in clothing and the clothing was getting caught and trapped and everything well you know just all of that sort of stuff um that 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 made me I think panic as well as the fact that I thought maybe I'd swallowed my tongue or I so I was checking my tongue to make sure my tongue wasn't when I woke up sort of thing um and and then and then the second time it happened was um uh, my boob was like kind of into my throat sort of thing um but again that was another restriction that was another restriction um because I was wearing a top at the time and my necklace so I had to take my necklace off because I was literally crawling up my throat but I felt more able to go to once I'd calmed myself down in the bathroom and splash water on my face because I thought I was you know really panicking um I slept on the sofa but I slept upright with the with the light shining through the window and so I could hear so so long as I could hear and I could hear the noise of outside and so long as I could have some form of light because also the room was really dark because we'd got the blind down as well so the room was really really dark there was no noise um because I was used for, for years Rob always had the fan thing blowing in the bedroom and it was always cold in the bedroom um and 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 I was having trouble sleeping because of that but at least then if I could hear that I knew I was I was I was alive basically but because it was deathly silent and it was dark I think that kind of played into my subconscious as well as well as being like the feeling of restriction um I think that that's what was coming across in my dream anyway. So by sleeping on the sofa and having a bit of light and able to hear the fish tank going and what have you, I was able to get to to nod back off. But I was sat upright because I didn't dare sleep down, sleep with my head down. Um, and that was the first couple of times. Um, and I've had it a couple of times since. But it's not been so bad. But I realised that I was asleep. So now if I see small spaces or doors. I tend not to go too close to them. Or if I get to them and they start shrinking. I know to stay away from them. Because I don't want to get myself trapped. Like in one of my dreams. I remember I had to go up the stairs. Um, and the the door at the top of the stairs, which was a big door that I come through, was literally a little door, and 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 then I look, at, I think to myself, well, you are this big fat person, and you're never going to get through that door, so I don't even try it, you know. So, um, yeah. So if I, I get like that, I just back away from the door, and that's all I do. I back away from the door. I think to myself. No, you're not going that way. So, yeah. Sometimes it wakes me up. And uh, then I'm wide awake. Instead of going back to sleep. But uh, other times uh, I wake up. And if I'm still too tired, I go back to sleep. And dream about something else. Anyway. Uh, yeah, no. It's all, I think, it's, I, uh, it's just, uh, life, I think. So, oh, yeah, that one. Yeah.
So I'm just gonna do a few more of these. Uh, double crochets, I think. And then I think I may just go to bed. Because it's getting late. It's Sunday tomorrow. Keen's still got another week off of school, college, whatever. Uh, you never know. I might have a strapping, uh, tattooed, bearded, long haired sex pot that wants to have a cup uh, of a, a alcoholic drink and a dance with me in my dream tonight. <laughs> In Scotland. Uh, yeah, that's what I want to dream about. A Scottish long haired, um, tattooed Viking. <laughs> uh, who likes to dance? Oh, definitely. I, I could think of a few things to do with somebody in a kill. Let's put it that way. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. I may be old, but I ain't dead. Doing two, yeah, I'm doing two. Uh, ooh, the lolly. I was, I've been watching, uh, looking at TikTok again, just for something to do. Oh my days! Oh my days! I love the ones where they've got like these chaps, and they've got like nerdy glasses on, nerdy hairdos in weird clothes and things and then all of a sudden they do something and dramatic and then they turn into these fucking hunky dory things. Oh my god, I'm like oh, where were they when I was that age? <laughs> uh, and I'm like, Oh my god, I'm old enough to be their mothers. Oh my god <laughs> Uh, uh, soon I'll be old enough to be their grandmother. Jesus. Uh, yeah, no. Oh my god, there was a really nice guy on there as well, right? And I'm not not being funny, so anybody please don't take offence if anybody watches this. But I'm not into big people. I don't that's not my cup of tea. Uh, and um, he's like, he's got his hair up in a bun and what have you. And it, 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 it had this, uh, I should say my preference isn't that. And anyway, I certainly didn't expect what I saw. I was like, oh, my chaff and God. Oh my god, that was so oh I think they call it a first trap or something. <laughs> oh my giddy aunt. I was like, Holy Hannah, where did you come from? And he was oh my god. He was stunning with a, a bit a bit of meat on him, but he wasn't all meat, if you know what I mean. It was like, no, nah, that's not possible. <laughs> I was like, oh dear. I was like, oh my God. 
I was like, oh, uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> Absolutely. So, and stunning blue eyes. Oh my goodness me, stunning blue eyes. Absolutely stunning blue eyes. Holy Hannah! I think I've done that right, haven't I? Hang on, let me have a look. Yep. Yep. I don't know what Outlander's done to me, but it's turning me into something I haven't been for a while. Wink, wink. Right, let's get this next one done and then I think, uh, let me have a look. I don't even know how long I've been streaming for, I'm on the wrong page. <laughs> You're winking at me. <laughs> Just this three there. One and a two. And a three. How's your mum? How's Jaden? How's uh, Jesse? Everybody all right? We're men, we're men in tights, tight tights. Da 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 da. We're men, we're men in tights. Da 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 da. We may look like pansies, but did it did it did it to put up a fight. We're men, we're men in tights. Tights. All doing well. Good. Good. Right. <laughs> Yarn bath. Sheesh. Okay. I think that's me done. I I know I've still got a row a bit to do, but I can't be asked to do no more. So it's oop nearly knocked it then. I don't know if you can see it. That's the bottom of it. Do 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 and then it's the top. So far, it's uh, nearly two foot wide, uh, two foot long, sorry, and it's, oh my gosh, it's about four foot, maybe more wide, so oof, it's going up there because I need to go to bed, right, oh my goodness me, we don't want that now, do we, right, there we go. Here we go, look, two glasses. Ooh, whoop. You can't see the rest of it. Okay, so I'm going to go now. And thanks for joining me, Luna. Thanks for letting me have a chit chat. And I will see you in the next video. I don't know when that's going to be, though, mind you. But love you. Mwah. And I'll see you soon. Au revoir, Avis, and cheers, cheerio, and all that malarkey. And thanks ever so much for joining me. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.